Ah, and we're back, and one more time. Welcome back to Exilia. I'm Sages, etc., 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 and let's press select. If you leave an egg in an empty box, and said egg gets crushed, the cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. 500 years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although, people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Since spirits have no apparent physical form, people weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the age of spirit arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Oh, lordy. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. <laughs> Bet even Professor Howe didn't see that coming. Yeah, I don't think he did. Ooh, there's a quest here. Hi. People call me the Amazing Bounty Hunter. Okay. All right. If you help me, I'll tell you why they call people call me the Amazing Bounty Hunter. Okay. Let's just take travelers on the high road. Okay. Okay. Sabstrath, deep wood, shore. Things turn hairy. My amazing self will be right beside you to help. I don't think this is going to work out well, but we'll see. Oh my god, if I hear mommy, mommy, mommy one more time, I'm going to bust a nut. A physical nut. It's gonna be bad. Okay, well, we, we can sell all these. Don't think we need any of that. So, yeah. And into the inn, uh, we're gonna rest here, and then we're gonna head out. Or are there... Welcome, uh-huh. Sure. I mean... 150... Oh. oh. That's right, you... Please, I'm in a hurry. Hmm? What is it? That woman. Quite a looker, right? Eh? What do you think? Uh, this again? <laughs> Found you, cat. Now come with us or else. Okay. N never mind. Just cancel my reservation. The big giant eyebrows help it a lot. Okay, what was the point of that? Oh. <laughs> well. What now? Alvin? Well, Alvin's off to do something. God only knows. I can't believe we fell for your pathetic lies. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please, you don't understand. Who were you working for? Tell us. <laughs> Wow, beating a woman. Hey, what are you doing? I think the lady's had enough. Mind your own business. You don't know what she's done. Hmm. Alvin, what's going on? Damn it. He's got friends. Let's get out of here. Now we scram. And away they went. Cab, was it? That's an unusual name. Uh... Why did you help me? You don't know what they'll do to you. Well... How do I put this? He can't help it. Alvin's always had a weakness for pretty faces. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Jude. Always kidding around. Not really kidding. Now, how about you take her back to the inn and tend to her wounds? As you command, sir. Now, let me guess, you're gonna look suspicious. She be one of them. Could she? Yeah, he's, 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 he's utterly suspicious. I mean, there's no doubt about it. That's just how Alvin is, I guess, huh? Oh, hey. Have you seen Kat today? She left before dawn. Hey, over here! What's going on? Well, she doesn't... This was no accident. Who would do such a thing? Kat! Did you know her? I'm sorry. But she's already gone. Wow, okay. What happened? Was it those two men from yesterday? No, it wasn't them. Do you know who did this? 
Hey, could you give us a moment here? It won't take long. You know, for authorities, they're not really good at... Oh. Said so, but I suspect Cat was a member of the Rats. The Rats? That's what they call the female spy organization that works for the Octal clan. They're one of the shadier tribes in Ajul. The Rats use women to gather intelligence. As their name implies, they sneak in anywhere, like rodents. They're pretty well known in Ajul. I can't believe it. I don't think those thugs from yesterday had caught on to her real identity. They must have been from the group she was spying on. They wouldn't have gone this far. Then who? Other rats. With her cover blown, she became a liability. I had a hunch that she might have been a spy, but... This might be my fault. No, this isn't your fault. Well, she's dead now. Are you guys done? Yeah, thanks for that. This reminds me of a splendid puzzle. Are you okay? Yeah, these things happen. You just have to put it out of your mind. You can't save everyone, kid. All right, well then. I'm just going to remove those eyebrows from you right now. Give you a sheath dagger, sure, why not? And bedhead. Here, you can have bedhead too. Um, okay. So she was... She was dead down there, but, uh, yeah, that worked out pretty well, considering. So are we just gonna... Oh, okay, we'll right to another cutscene. You there would you? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Sure, why not? No, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I doubt that. How much money do you want? Okay. Trail lived among another uh, northern tribe, uh, controlling monsters. Oh, great. An unusual gift that gave him the ability to draw out a monster's hidden power. He began to dabble in forbidden arts. Oh, okay. He sought to create monsters that would grow stronger with every battle. Oh. Great. These all sound fantastic. Oh, okay. Devil's arms. Oh my god, isn't this a little bit early to be introducing this? I mean, that's... That's kind of like... Aren't these usually the really end-all, be-all weapons? I remember Symphonia had these and they were just really OP. But I'm guessing this is more for later anyways. Oh, great. They re roam free somewhere. In Are they going to come out and eat us? Great. Oh, great. They're tw 20 years of fighting, so they're probably way too powerful. Do not attempt to fight it. That is my... Oh, God. That already sounds bad as is. It's probably one uh, the worst part about it. It's probably one of those monsters that shout cabbage. What? It's, it's the truth, guys. Come on. I mean, what were you expecting? It's just gonna be like a giant badass monster? No. It's gonna be a giant monster that screams cabbage every five seconds. Uh, let me see something. I can't do equipment for her yet. I think she has another costume. Wow, okay, the sudden sound effect change. That's... that's a bit much? Okay. Oh, let's see. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? Yeah. You tore it down? Yes. But I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. 
Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. I want to see what... Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. Uh, can I see what the wanted poster looked like? That'd be great. Hello, sir. Think up here worth a damn? It looks like it. A few things. Mine? A rotten bone? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Here we go again. Yeah, I know. Up. Okay, that one's dead. Ah, oh, come on. Couldn't even finish that up, really, dude. Oh. Sorry about that. Well. Uh, ooh, there's a sack over here. Oh, there's also one of these guys. Great. If you ever, like, go away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you go. Much better. Is fighting the only answer? Somewhat, maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Click. Ooh, subtle ivy. Entitle I Heart Jude was that? Oh dear. Yes, Jude Heart Milla. And possibly Milla Heart Jude. That's great. Insect husks. Something. Oh dear. God. A military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What do we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? Oh, thank you, Tebow. That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sheraton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. <sighs> Maybe she could actually pitch in, you know. I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys. You're pals, remember? They were arguing? At least. The girl has agreed. So this matter is no longer open to debate. Okay. Sure. <sighs> She's kind of cold-hearted at times. Especially when it comes to small children. Anyways, uh, anything around here at all? Oh, yes, this. Climb. Climb, please. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, managed to climb. So many climbings. Ooh, a chest. Click. Soda rice, of course. You seem to know a lot about this area. Never actually been in the deep wood before. But there's a first time for everything. Well, great. That's just what I wanted to hear. Anyway, there you go. Good, 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 good job, you saved. That, that's a good job. They probably bought in a striker or whatever the hell that was, the weapon that... Oh. Are we going to get a cutscene? Oh, dear. Looks like it. Quite a dense forest. Let's try to stick together, okay? Usually when you say something like that, it goes Scooby-Doo-esque, and we all separate. Oh, dear God, what the... Is that just a wolf? A giant wolf? Okay, you just stay there. Oh, good, he left. Whew. Ugly son of a bitch. What was that? 
Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Yeah, well, she doesn't seem to be faced by anything. Oh, I see a way through. Hurry up, you two. Great. Even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go. All right. Couldn't be much worse, right? Oh, my God. My sound, my sound cord is acting strange again, so it's coming in and out on one ear. I had to correct. Wow. Wow. When did we suddenly go Metal Gear Solid here? What the hell? I'm not so good with these tight passages. Must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. That was an oddly triggered scene. God damn it. That thing's got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Oh, you finally come to help us, huh? Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Ah. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, stabbing him's gonna help. help. Okay. You, you healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? So what, you can heal? Thought you were gonna be a different type of character. Oh well. Our wounds are healed. Did Elise do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. Oh wait, hold on! I can help! A grand victory! That was amazing, Elise. That was exhausting. Okay, so now we have Elise. Oh. Tipo Drain. If you choose Elise as a partner, whenever your TP is reduced, may absorb HP and TP from the foe and transfer to you. This increases against technical type foes and moes uh, and moes and foes juggling in the air, being juggled in the air. Okay, I see. So Tipo can randomly eat people. That's wonderful. Imagine a little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. Oh, for God's sakes. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elise's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me. You were getting along better before. I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here. Level 99 on the friendship meter. Oh my god, Tipo, stop it. Really help us in a pinch. Just stop it, Tipo. So? Tipo, you're crazy. Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Ah, this is... This is great. Wonderful. Sally forth, pal! Sally forth. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Tipo is best character. <laughs> what luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride. Well, look at that. Aren't, aren't, aren't you happy? Okay, so now we have Elise. Ah, wonderful. I can play a healer if I wanted to. Oh, she uses a wand. Wow, we have a silk cloak. Um, yeah, you can have boots. You can also have bedhead. No, you're gonna have a sheath dagger. It's on your... You're, oh god, that sounds da that looks dangerous. And you're gonna have bushy eyebrows too. Now you're angry. No. Um what is her alternate color? Oh my god, why? I like her other color. <laughs> that shit's too bright. Oh god. How much do you have to spend? Oh my god, you have twenty one? Seriously? Okay, what can you Oh wow, alright. Well, let me look at what we're gonna get if we do do this. I'm just gonna look around Windguard. Earth Guard, HP gain. Are we actually gonna get? Well, obviously, since it's oh my god, 
Uh, back support. Prevent back attack encounters. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. Anything else? Oh, uh, recover. Purifying bubbles cover an ally to heal them all status ailments. Level restore. Okay, that's nice. Flash guard. HP restoration. Well, I really can't see any fault to this, so that's fine by me. And that's still not spending all of it. Oh my god. Yes, let's see what... Okay, where do you want to put the next auto level? Increases max TP and healing circle. Sure. Those all sound very helpful. But we're gonna go look at your skills real quick. And then we're gonna... Oh my goodness, you have a lot. I really don't care. Oh, back support. Sure. Uh, magic guard. What's this? Increases... Well, of course. And, uh, spirit. There you go. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end the episode here, and we'll be back afterwards. Yay! Oh, God. One step closer to adulthood! Tipo! Don't say that so loud. You're embarrassing me. Ah, <sighs> Tipo. Where do you go when the sun goes down? <laughs>